hi guys welcome back to lena crash so today we are going to be creating an album slash junk journal or journal however you want to um describe it on the front here we did this paper quilling um design and i did the paper quilling in another video that will be linked at the end of this journal so you can um, watch that video after you watch this if you want to see how i did the paper quilling design and this has a velcro clasp at the top and now we open it this way up top we have two uh journaling inserts that i did on both sides of these this flips out like that here we have some four by four photo holders and a pocket in the back and this mirrors the exact same way this is a pocket on this side and it's also a pocket on that side as well and when we close this we flip it on the other side which is my favorite part about this and you have an entirely different opening type journal situation so i did a little bit of twine binding here on these two little um openings that i did which are really cool and i'm going to show you how to make these um open it up this way and what we have here is a very simple little note section or note journaling section uh we have a pocket here we have a pocket here on this side as well and here we did just a little three hole punch a uh, little notepad that i thought was cute and we have a pocket back here with a tag and as well um it's the same insert that we had on the other side at the top and so when you close up you have essentially a double-sided journal which is what i was going for i've had this idea in my head for so long and i'm so glad to allow it to come to fruition so these are our this is our journal yeah and so this is what we're going to be making today so stay tuned for that all right so for the base of this journal what you're going to need is two six by 12 pieces of paper and we're going to score at the three and the nine mark nine inch mark i should say All right, so now we have our two papers that are scored and folded on the three and the six, um, three and the nine inch mark. So essentially what we're gonna do is just connect the back of these like so, and we're just gonna create a pocket on the inside there. So now I've taken some three by six pieces of papers that I've just cut up. And these are going to be what we're going to use to make the pockets and the outside portion of one of the faces of the journal. So I really wanted to use these um, for that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this, uh, which is links down below these are linked down below in all my videos uh, these little hole punches that I use and essentially I'm just going to attach it to the journal like this
All right, and for the inside portion of this, what I'm going to do is just add this, um, or these, I should say, pieces here to create pockets on the inside. So while we're working on this side, um, what we're going to do is just make this little note padding section here and we're going to just use, well, what I did is I cut out a three, uh, five by three quarters by five by three quarter piece of paper and this is what is going to be placed here. And the notepad is going to be on it here. Now to create the notepad, I'm just going to do the three hole punch that you guys have seen me do um, plenty of times. And I literally just cut out some uh, printer paper and I cut it in four by four uh, pieces. And so we're just going to attach it here right in the middle. And so I have another piece of paper which I, um, came in a paper pack, which I'm just going to use to create the pocket for the back of this here. And we're going to create that using our double-sided tape here. And I also, um, you know, cut that's used a tag um, punch to just cut the sides. Okay, now that this is done, we're just gonna glue it. Um, I'm not gonna tape it or create a pocket because it's just easier uh, to glue it and there's already a packet pocket behind it, so I don't wanna make a pocket in the front as well. To make the handles, I'm just using uh, some paper that I cut out with my one inch hole punch. And I also cut out some chipboard as well. And I'm gonna be gluing it together like this, just to make it a little bit more sturdy.
while the other guy what i'm gonna do is create what is going to be the base so this is just a slotted quilling tool once you watch the video that i did for the paper quilling you'll see all these tools um and so i'm just gonna use that and create just like um just swirl it around it i guess and create like a really tight coil And here I am going to actually attach it. When I take it off, of course, I'm going to push it down. And that is going to be the base of our little handle. Okay, so since this side is basically done, what we're going to do now is work on the opposite side. And so here, you know, it's a clear base just like the other one. And what we're going to do is a couple things. I'm going to work on this little pocket here because this is going to have two pockets. It's going to be a pocket on this side and there's going to be a pocket on this side. So we're just going to work on that right now. And of course, I'm going to punch. Okay, so now that we have this pocket sorted out, what we're actually going to do is attach the front cover here. And this is going to be our front cover. This is the paper quilling project that I did in the other video, which will be linked at the end of this video. So this is um, a six by six uh, paper quilled project. And we're just going to use this as the cover of this side. So what it should look like in the end is this will be the cover on this portion of the journal and I'm just gonna attach that by gluing it down
All right, so now that that is attached, we are going to using this six by six piece of paper on the back portion of it, just to give it a little bit more stability. And I am going to punch out a hole here because this is also going to be an insert. And we're just going to attach it the way we do our normal pockets with double-sided tape. what we're going to do is actually work on the photo squares that are going to go inside this portion of the journal and we've done photo holders a thousand times you know we're gonna cut a half inch above the size of the photo we're doing these for four by four so the size is gonna be four and a half by four and a half and we're gonna score along the half inch mark and then just um, start putting them in. And these are gonna be our top pocket inserts and I just cut it at four and a half by five inches. Okay, now to finish the back on this side, what we're going to do is just um, get some twine. I'm gonna use this color because I feel like this works best with what I have. And we're just gonna tie it around the base of this.
try it one more time. And that'll be our closure for this side. And on this side, I'm going to use the Velcro dots to close it up. For the journaling cards, I actually bought a template from Amazon, which I'm going to use to actually make lines, which is why I didn't want to put it in yet. All right, everyone. So these are, well, this is a finished journal. Uh, the start of the show, as you could probably guess it, is the paper quilling. Um, this is my third or fourth time doing paper quilling. Um, and it was, it turned out beautifully. This is the one that I made in the tutorial. So it will be linked right after this video so you can watch that. But yeah, we're just gonna go through the journal that we made. So um, this is the front, this beautiful quilling piece that I did. And when you open it up here, uh, it opens up this way because we have a double-sided pocket here. There's a pocket on this side and one on this side as well. We have our 4x4 photo holders here. We've done this a million times already so you guys know. I use this um, punch in order to get the slots to stick the photos in. So you guys can definitely check the um, description box below to find the link for that. On this side, um, I had a pocket here in the original journal. I didn't put it here because of this thing um, and I really wanted this to show. So there's no pocket on this side. Of course, if you want, you can put a pocket here. Um, and this is just three photo holders. Again, three photo holders on this side. And on this one, I did put a pocket with the little journaling uh, piece in there. Um, again, we have our pockets on this side, which is a double pocket, and this has the Velcro clo closure on this side. Now, when we turn it over, we have another sort of opening for the journal because it is a double-sided journal, 
and we have these two little handles which we made with her so cute um again we have some pockets on this side so we have a pocket here there's another pocket here to put a journal square in on this side i decided to go with a notepad or a little journaling section so you can um you know write down whatever you want to write and this is just basic copy paper on the back of this i did a little pocket and i stuck two journaling um, inserts there and a little tag so you can um do whatever you need to do with that write things down memories and yeah so this is our double faced journal i think i'm gonna call it and it came out so nice of course i love the two little handles on this side it is very sturdy but it, it also um pretty flat if you're gonna send it for flat mail so um could be a good flat mail idea of course I love the, to do the quilling um, and it was super nice. That video again will be linked um, or in the end cards of this video so you can watch that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, stick around. You might like some of the future videos that I make or some of the older videos. So check those out too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.